Welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. We are out on our Silverton today and we've got this door and you can hear that thing clunk as it goes back and forth and it rubs. We've tried all sorts of things to put on there to make it slide, but it just doesn't slide. So we're going to work on taking the slide apart at the bottom and rebuilding it. Here's how you do it. Okay, okay so you can see in here, uh, in this track here, there's screws holding this thing in. So we're going to take out these three screws, slide the door over, and take the other screws out. So now we've got this track loose. What we do is we pull away on this door a little bit so we get this, this track out. We come way out here to get this track out. So that's got the track out. It's a lot of washer shims behind it. We got to save all those. We still got to get the wheels off the door. So we're going to go work on that next. So, uh, so to get the uh, wheels out, you can see the wheel right here. We got to get a uh, Allen wrench that fits in the hole. And there'll be one on the other end that I'll have to go do. A wheel, a wheel on the bushing we have to replace. A screw. Well, we got to go to the other side. Uh, you won't be able to see that one, and neither will we. We'll have to do it by feel. Welcome back. Hey, we found some wheels. See the nice little wheel we got? We got a little problem, though. The diameter of the wheel is right, but the inner part, this inner diameter, doesn't go in here. So if you look at this, the wheel don't go in. So we got to make that smaller, and we don't own a lathe. So we are in front of our drill press here, and what we did was we put a bolt through the wheel, and we put it on the drill press here, and we started to work on it. We got a nice uh, little round file, a nice little square file, so we can work the groove. So what we're going to do, turn this on, we come in here and we do one of these with this file. Very carefully, just kind of push it in here. even pressure. Once we do that, we turn this off. And that did take about 10 minutes, all right? I just showed you a little bit. Uh, then we can bring this up here and see if it fits on. And look, at that slides real nice in there. So now what we can do is take this out of the chuck. Take that out of the chuck. Take the wheel, see if it fits in here nice, and give it a little turn. To, well, is it going to roll through here? And it looks like we are going to roll really nice in here with this one. So it uh, looks like we got a little binding right there, but it's right at the end where the... Okay, so that's right at the end there where the uh, track might be a little damaged right there where the screw goes. Yeah. So it looks like it goes all the way along here. Uh, really nice. Uh, there's this little spot at the end here where it does seem a little bit clunky. So we'll get to see what we've got right there. But I don't think it even, I don't think the wheel actually goes there. If you look at the, if you look at the wear on the slide, the wheel actually stops about here. So now what we're going to do is take our wrenches, take our, take our bolt out of there, put it in the other wheel, we're going to make the other wheel. Then we'll have to figure out. So all we did here was we put a couple washers, we run the nut up, snug that up. You don't want to deform the plastic too much. And then uh, put it back in the chuck here and go back at it. Now this is the other one, so you want to see what I'm talking about. You can see that there ain't anywhere that ain't anywhere near going on there, okay? So you got a ways to go. What we did last time was we grooved this in the center, then we used a square file to groove it out. 
uh, back flat, and then we put this groove in it as a final. We snuck up on it nice and slow, and you can see we made a real nice, uh, real nice groove in there. See that? I will do this one, and then. Uh, So we are back at our boat project. Uh, we built, rebuilt the rail, we made wheels, but we gotta clean this up. So easy way to clean it up, little WD-40. Next step, we gotta put the wheels back in. Some washers back. We got some extra play in here. Eh, wouldn't have been any more than before though. Just snug that one up. Put some uh board in there. Now I'll have to go outside and get the track on. Bail back in. So to do that, the door's got to be way open. So it helps to have somebody push it from the inside. You have to come out about this far. And we got to line this up, get it the wheel of the track. That look like it's in there. Okay. Okay, let it down easy. All right, so now we're down. Have to get the uh, get our screws out and get some screws in. Lay down some towels so the screws don't go through this. Feels a little heavy, but it's smooth. Hmm. Kind of nice. It could be shimmed out a little more. So there you are. Don't forget to like and subscribe to My Two Good Hands. Fix the door. Maybe in the summer we'll have to shim it a little bit more. We'll have to see when the weather warms up. It's a little tight right now. Catch you in the next video.